Hey, I'm here at uh, Sci uh, here at Comic Con, um, celebrity host for MediaBoulevard.com, Cody Dill coming at you, and I'm here with Mr. Anthony Head, star of Merlin. Um, hello. Hello. Now, um, going into you guys are going into season three, correct? Four. Cool. Season four, that's correct. So, about your character, he was in some type of deep depression because of what happened. Um, can you give us any indication of what's going to happen in season four with with, with um, King Uther? Uh, he's uh, he's. He's zoned out. Basically, he is, he's he's screwed. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's not no longer playing with a full deck of marbles. Uh, and um, basically, it's uh, the madness of King George. Who rules when the king can't rule, but is still alive? What happens? So it's cool. Very cool. And um, what do you think about this new poster, by the way? Oh, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. You do look pretty cool. They look cooler. <laughs> look at this beautiful thing. They're gorgeous. Yeah. And this guy is worrying. Yeah, no, no. Can you tell us a little bit about who that is? Um, no. No, no, no spoilers then. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. It's cool though. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I, I think everybody loves it. It's, you know, the bottom line is that there are, there are, there are purists out there who, who sort of think, that, why are you messing with a, with a legend that everyone knows? The bottom line is it's like small world. Why would you mess with it? But it's fun. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, exactly, and exactly. People, and I totally agree with with all that you're people, saying. No, people, um, I think people get it. I really do. It's not, you know, it's like... Um, the thing that I get constantly is that it's a great show that the whole family can watch. It's like one of those shows that nobody's talked up to or down to, and there's it's dark enough for adults and it's comic enough for kids, and it's just you know it's got across the board. It has that family appeal, so that's I mean that's cool. And just personally, because you've been around for a while, um, I, I personally like the you know the uh, colorblind casting and, and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's uh, pretty cool? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I th you know, the bottom line, I think the casting is, is brilliant. Uh, Jill Trevelyan, who is, is the casting director, across the board is one of the things that, uh, right the way through the seasons, our special guest stars have been. I mean, quite extraordinary. We've had we've had just like an extraordinary gamut of, of guest stars, you know, real quality, quality guest stars. People love to do the show because it's it's a really fun set. It's a very happy set. It's a great crew and they're good stories. And everybody likes dressing up and you know swashbuckling a bit. Yeah. So um, also about Buffy, the, there's been a lot of talk about you know for a while about. Um, a, uh, some type of coming up series called Ripper. Uh -huh. um, is there anything <laughs> that, that you can speak about that or if anything's happening? Or? Bottom line is it's something that Joss and I talk about every few years. He just did it on his panel, he just said uh, he figured if, if he mentioned it again to me that I'd probably uh, knife him. <laughs> he can talk about it as much as he likes. Um, if he ever feels like doing it, I'll be up there with him. Uh, anything he feels like doing, I'll be up there with him. But. Uh, uh, I think it's kind of moribund now. Um, a, because um, Rupert Charles died in season eight, the, the comic book, uh, and um, he was killed by Angel. Um, <laughs> and uh, I don't know, the, the, the original story that he had that he was going to do like a one-off for, the, for the, the pilot or whatever for Ripper, was a brilliant story. I'd love to shoot that with him sometime. Just, just a great story. Yeah, yeah. So maybe we'll get a chance to do that. Well, we hope so. And, and my, coming from a, a, a fantasy film myself, um, it, it looks like a lot of fun. So I'm sure you guys are having a lot of fun. And we definitely look forward to season four. So thank you so much for your time. Thanks.